Hey guys, it is Miss Reno. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you're brand new, I am so excited that you decided to join me here today for not exactly a create a sim video. So I will preface that these sims are already made. You could probably tell from the photos that I put at the beginning anyway, but I am so excited. So the day of me recording this, this is the 13th of March. We are getting the infant update tomorrow. And then the new expansion pack growing together comes out on the 16th. And I am just so, so excited for this expansion. And I am starting a new Let's Play. I've been teasing it over on Twitter and things like that. And I thought, you know what? Why not make a video to introduce you guys to The Sims prior to kicking off the first episode? That way we can really just start diving into the story see them doing their day to day and and really kind of already have an established feel for who they are. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. So our very first Sim here, this is Archer Weiss. That is how I pronounce the last name. Now, if there's different pronunciations, please let me know. I, I <laughs> it's just how I pronounce it. Um, but this is Archer. So Archer is a, um, well, I don't know, he's He's kind of my kind of sim, to be completely fair. Uh, so Archer is actually a San Sequoia native. So he grew up there. He comes from a family of fishermen because I believe they said that there was like a fishery and definitely like a dock area and stuff like that, like a marina. And um, yeah, his family has been in San Sequoia for generations and generations, and he is a fisherman by trade. So he does have the angling ace aspiration, which gives him the collector trait. He's also a maker, so he really enjoys woodworking. Uh, he has like high handiness skill, stuff like that. He's he's definitely one that works with his hands with a lot of things. Uh, he also loves the outdoors and he's very, very loyal. Now, I just wanted to talk about the loyalty trait here, okay, because Loyalty, where is it? Here we go. I wanted the, the description. So loyal Sims value their relationships and fully commit to them, whether they are friendship, romance, or even work. They avoid lying and cheating because their loved one's trust is very important to them. Now, this has nothing to do with him not being dedicated to his romantic partner in any capacity, but Archer here really doesn't have a strong relationship with his family. So when this pack comes out, there are going to be some adjustments here to some family dynamics, okay? We don't know his family yet. That's to come uh, in future episodes. But he actually likes it that way. He isn't very close with his family members. I would assume he has like a distant relationship or dynamic with most of his family members, whoever they are. And that's kind of how he prefers it. He's actually a sim. He never thought of having a family of his own. He was a little bit of a loner, though I didn't give him that trait because I didn't want it to really impact gameplay, but to give you a sense of his personality, he's a little bit more of a loner. He does things solo. He likes fishing, which is very like peaceful and solitary for him. He likes working with his hands and not so much working with others, if that makes any sense. Um, but when he does forge relationships, which is I think somewhat of a rare occurrence for Archer, he is extremely loyal, like to a fault to those to those people or to that person. Um, so that's a little bit more about him. Now, he does have some likes and dislikes, though, of course, we are getting new categories and a ton of additions to this. So I didn't go too, too deep into it, but he does like fishing, fitness and handiness. And that's pretty much all I dictated for right now. I didn't want him to really dislike anything quite yet. I want to explore more of that through gameplay, so I won't really be dictating a lot of likes and dislikes for these sims. But this is Archer, so he does have a few different uh, clothing options here. I always give my sims, at least in LPs, well, as of late, I can't say always, but I give them a couple of everyday outfits. So he does have three of them. They're all quite similar, but <laughs> I wanted him to have some different options. So this is the very first option. We also have the second option where he's got like this nice button up shirt from Cats and Dogs. Does he look like Joel Miller? Kind of sort of with this outfit choice. Don't judge me. I am obsessed with The Last of Us right now. I can't help it. Um, and this is his third option as well. Just another like plaid button up to a little bit cleaner looking, I think, than some of the others, but I don't know. I just really like giving him different, or giving my Sims different options. And now this is his formal wear. This is a custom content shirt. I honestly do not recall where it's from. <laughs> I think, oh, I know this user. I know this user too. I, I think I've probably reblogged it on my CC Finds Tumblr, but I can't make any promises. I'm not always where can I find friendly. <laughs> 
can't, I can't lie to you, but it is custom content. I really like that it's a tucked in plaid shirt. Um, so yeah, he cleans up kind of nicely, but he keeps that kind of rugged look to him at the same time. And now this is his athletic wear. He does just kind of, you know, go jogging or lift weights in his shorts. And um, he's got a little tattoo here. He's got a little uh, pinup girl here. And I think now before Archer met his wife, Hannah, who we will meet in just a second, I'm not going to say that he was a womanizer in any capacity. I don't think that's fair. But he was very much a casual dater. And I think that being a fisherman, there's just like this culture in, in his group, like in his crew, if you will. Because I, I feel like he actually runs his own boat. And he has like an actual crew. Maybe he kind of runs his own business. I know we can't exactly replicate that in The Sims. Um, but anyway, I think that there's this culture surrounding it. I think he's always had kind of this fascination with like the pinup girls of the 50s and 60s. Maybe it was something that was passed down by like his dad or his grandfather or something. And when he was really young, <laughs> like maybe right out of high school, he went out and got this tattoo and now he kind of regrets it. That's, that's my story for it. <laughs> but yeah, he does have this one tattoo of a pinup girl, which is, you know, kind of, it's a nod to the fact that he is always out on the ocean and loves fishing. And here is his sleepwear. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have uh, his boxers and his second tattoo, which I almost forgot about. He has a cow plant. Now, I think that at one point he was really into like punk music and stuff like that. Like he went through this phase. He had a few phases in college, okay? That's that's what I'm thinking. He didn't finish college, by the way. He went to university, um, but he didn't finish, and he ended up just going into the family business. That's kind of how he ended up where he's at. But yeah, he was really into punk music, and I feel like there was a band called, like, The Cow Plants or something, and he, he got that tattoo on his thigh. And again, he kind of regrets it, but, you know, it's... He is who he is at this point. Now, he also has two sleeper outfits, just in case. Um, I wanted to give him a pair of sweatpants with some socks as well. And then his party wear, he cleans up very nicely for his party wear. But again, I wanted to really keep to this more rugged look for him. He's always wearing, you know, like work boots. His jeans are maybe a little like worn or patched up or something. He doesn't have a pair of jeans that are just intact and nice. But he does have this very nice button up shirt and he's got, you know, the little, I don't even know what you would call this. I don't know. I, I like the layers. Also, he always wears this watch. Just, I think it was his dad's. I, that's what I'm thinking. We're going to explore that a bit more. But it was his dad's watch, and he always wears it all the time. Every outfit, pretty much. Except for his swimwear, because that would be a little bit silly. Oh, he's got a ring. Oh, wait. Get rid of that ring. <laughs> he doesn't need that bright green ring on his finger. Um, but yeah, he just wears, like, cargo shorts when he goes swimming. And then for his warm weather, he does have just, like, a tank top and these worn-out, torn-up denim shorts. I think I wanted to give him cargo shorts, but I thought it'd be a little much. And then for his winter weather, again, this is a piece of custom content, this little jacket. But I liked it because it is like this plaid that he clearly enjoys. And it looks like he just has kind of like this worn sweatshirt underneath it with kind of the fuzzy collar. It just really fits him. And then he's got his distressed jeans, of course, again. But he also has a secondary outfit too, where I just added a hat. I'll do that when I make multiple well, not versions, but when I give them multiple outfits, especially for uh, cold weather, I'll usually give them a version where they might have a hat and gloves for when they're actually outside. But then if they're inside, they can still be comfortable wearing maybe just the jacket, but with less accessories. And it just seems a little bit more appropriate for being inside. I might even give him an additional outfit with just like a sweater. Or Actually, you know, we're going to do that right now. I said it wasn't a creative video, but it might be. I want to give him not... Not something like that. That's a little bit too polished for him, I think. I just want him to have a sweatshirt. It might have to be something like that, but I don't... This isn't really his style. So I'm trying to find something I think that would work. I mean, this could work. That could work for him. Again, it's not exactly his style, though. Hmm... Maybe we can find something. What about this? This is from high school years. It might not be the colors that I want. No, it's not really his style. <laughs> it's not really what I'm looking for. These all have logos on them, which isn't what I'm looking for. That's a little bit too polished for him, I think. Oh, that works. There we go. Okay, I just wanted him, so wanted him to have something that he could just wear indoors that wasn't a jacket, but would still you know, be considered cold weather. So there we go. That is Archer. And now we are going to meet his wife, Hannah. Now I love Hannah and I have some ideas 
for her backstory, okay? But I'm not gonna reveal everything yet. That would be a little crazy to do that on just, you know, a little intro video prior to the LP even starting. But this is Hannah. So Hannah and um, Archer actually met. The way that I'm thinking that they met is that Hannah was actually in San Sequoia around the time that she was in university. And she's originally from Henford on Bagley, so she's not from the city at all. She's from a completely different world. And I feel as though she tagged along with some friends to like a beach bonfire. And Archer reluctantly went along with maybe one of his friends or one of the guys that he worked on, on the boats with, right? And they locked eyes from across the bonfire and essentially stole each other away for the evening, just talking and getting to know one another. And then she she never left. Like <laughs> that's that's kind of the love story that I was envisioning. And she really changed Archer. Like I said, he never thought that he wanted to have a family of his own. He really wasn't considering long-term relationships. He was very casual in his dating. He was okay with being by himself, but Hannah completely transformed that. But what's rather interesting is she wants a big, happy family. And she has the domestic trait. She has the family-oriented trait. She's very creative and she's a foodie. Now, I think... What Hannah does is she teaches piano. I think that's what she does. I think she paints as a hobby. Maybe she sells her art here and there. I could see San Sequoia having like an art gallery or something or a local artist shop and she like sells her stuff there too. But I think she teaches piano. And though that is of course not a career that we have in The Sims 4, that's kind of what I'm gonna be going with is that she teaches piano and she sells her art on the side. So she's a very creative person, and I think that's where her and Archer do kind of have similar interests, but they really are opposites in so many ways. She doesn't necessarily like being in the outdoors, though she did grow up on a farm. She's not partial to using her hands to get like down and dirty. She likes to create rather than I don't know, rather than like fishing, she doesn't really like fishing. She doesn't really like gardening or anything like that. I don't know. She definitely doesn't like woodworking. So they have some conflicting interests, but at the same time, they can kind of connect over them. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, again, I did give her some likes and dislikes as well. She really enjoys cooking, painting, piano, and violin and writing. I just feel as though she's an all around creative sim. So even if she doesn't necessarily have skill in violin or writing, they are hobbies or interests for her. So maybe every now and then she writes just for fun. You know, it's not something that she does lucratively. It's just a hobby. Um, but she might not really be skilled in that. And I think she's always had an interest in violin just because she plays piano. So maybe at some point she'll explore that. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, Hannah is originally from Hanford on Bagley, which we um, will likely explore in different ways as the LP goes on. But I kind of wanted to represent that in the way that she dresses as well. Now, Hannah is a stereotypical, very feminine woman. She just is. It is who she is. She loves wearing dresses. She thinks that they are just the easiest thing to wear. They are not exceptionally form-fitting most of the time when she wears them. They're very comfortable. You can see here she just layered a t-shirt underneath this dress here and just put on like some strappy wedges and she's like, she's good to go. But she also has a few different outfits as well for her every day. So she also has this dress, which I believe that it belonged to like her mother or something as well. She has a lot of hand-me-downs from her mother and now her parents are still alive and well. And that's pretty much all I'll say at that point, but she is very close to her family. That's another way that her and Archer are very different. I think her dynamics with her parents and her family members are very, very close knit. I, I don't think she has a distant dynamic with any of her family members at all. And it's been really hard for her in moving to San Sequoia and really settling down there to be so far away from her family, whereas Archer is perfectly content being, I'll say far away from his family, even though I think they're all located in San Sequoia, they just like don't see each other at all. They're, they're just not close. Um, but I think she's been with Archer for probably about three years at this point. Uh, so she might be due for a visit with her family in some capacity uh, very soon. But yeah, and here is her uh, third outfit as well. Now, even though she loves her dresses, I think that her, I'll say farm attire, I don't think that's necessarily fair, but her farm attire is something that she's carried with her to a new place. So she does have these uh, little overalls with just like this kind of three quarter sleeve striped shirt. She tosses on a pair of sneakers and she's good to go. So if she needs to be outside doing some work or whatever the case is, if she happens to join Archer down on the boat at some point, 
she at least uh, can dress for the occasion and still be comfortable. That was my thought. And now this is her formal wear. She gets very, very dolled up when needed. And I think black is honestly her color. I just really, really love it. And she just ties her hair very casually back with like this little, this little pin, which I really enjoy. But she also has two formal uh, outfits. So I think the black is for very, very formal things. This is more of like a party outfit, but I wanted it to seem, I don't know if it's considered a little bit more casual, but I just wanted it to be a little less formal and add some color because she does have a lot of color in her wardrobe. Now this is her athletic wear, very, very simple. T-shirt, shorts, hair tied back and a clip hastily. This is how she rolls. For her sleepwear, she does have a few different outfits. We have this little like one piece from the, what's it called? the Symptomates kit. She also has this one because I just think she looks like a mermaid to be completely honest with you. And then this is her third one as well. This is more of the sleepwear where you're kind of like lounging around the house. You know what I mean? Or if you happen to have company, this like company that you're comfortable with, of course, this would be the outfit that you might wear around the house, just like a pair of shorts and a little knit top. That, that was my thought. And now for her party wear, she of course busts out the dresses again. Now I always forget about this dress from Seasons. I love it so much. I think the flowers are something that she really enjoys. And you can see that she pretty much wears every dress with the same pair of wedges because it's just how she rolls. She doesn't have a lot of shoes or really, I don't know, a lot of clothing items. She's not really into a lot of it even though she enjoys her dresses. So hopefully that makes sense. This is her swimwear, which I think is very fitting for her. She loves the polka dots. And I think the green and the yellow really complement her very bright red hair, which I love. And now for hot weather, she does wear this, I would say more casual dress. Again, it's something that I think really suits her. She just tosses on like a three quarter t-shirt underneath her dress, layers it, and she's good to go. And then last but not least, her cold weather wear, where she does have a plaid shirt. I think it's courtesy of Archer's influence in her time being in San Sequoia. So she does have this plaid shirt tucked underneath a nice turtleneck and this little vest. And then I also gave her this outfit as well for, you know, being inside, being indoors. She just has like a sweater, though she still has her boots. But, um, those are the Sims for our upcoming LP for the Growing Together expansion pack. I'm really, really excited about it. I cannot wait to explore their dynamics a little bit more, how those dynamics really impact their relationship, as well as, I don't know, their relationships with their family members and how that could or could not impact them starting their own family. So I hope you all enjoyed this. It's a little bit of an unconventional, I guess, create us in video because we didn't create them together, but I just wanted you to kind of get a feel for them prior to us kicking off the LP so we could jump right into the story and get into gameplay and really start exploring things. So let me know what you all think in the comments down below and I will catch you next time I post a video. Bye.